Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communication. In today's session, we are going to a new topic called basic transmission theory, which belongs to a satellite link design unit. Okay. So coming to the basic transmission theory, the calculation of power received by an earth station from a satellite is the fundamental to the understanding of satellite communication. Okay. So the calculation of power, the whatever the power received by an earth station from a satellite, whenever a transmission or reception of the signal happenings between an earth station and satellite. Okay. You already know what is a satellite as well as what is an earth station where satellite is a huge machine, which is placed above the earth. Okay. Uh, which is moving in an orbit around the earth. Right. Okay. So mainly we are using that for communication purpose and coming to the earth station and ground station. We have already seen these earth stations are ground stations are nothing but a huge offices which are installed with an huge antenna systems. Okay. Which are able to communicate with these satellites, which are placed in the orbit. Okay. Now, whenever a communication is happening. Okay. So the power received by the earth station. Okay whenever it is communicating with the satellite is the fundamental to the understanding of the satellite communication by which we can understand the basic concepts of a satellite communication. Okay. Now consider a transmitting source in free space. Okay. So, so let's consider a, a source, which is keeps on transmitting the signals. Okay. And this particular source, let us say this particular source is a satellite which is trying to transmit the signal in various direction. Okay. So consider a particular source or a satellite in free space, radiating a total power with respect to PT. PT is nothing but we are considering here as total power with respect to units called watts uniformly in all directions. Okay. So we are considering a source which is transmitting some few uh, which is transmitting signals and radiating along with the signals it will be radiating the power here the power is considered as the total power pt in watts which is uniformly distributed in the all directions okay and this particular source is called isotropic at a distance r meters from the isotropic source okay and flux density crossing the surface. Okay. So this particular source is called as isotropic at a distance R meters from the isotropic source and as well as the flux density crossing the surface. Okay. So this particular uh, flux density, okay, F is given as F is equal to PT by 4 pi R square W by meter square, where W indicates the Okay, watts. Okay, so this is the flux density. It is calculated. Let's see this particular point with respect to the diagram. Okay, so a source is called an isotropic at a distance r meters from the isotropic source. Okay, flux density crossing the surface. Okay, so let's see what is the flux density crossing the surface. Okay, see. So consider an isotropic source. So this is, uh, let's consider this as an isotropic source. Let me move this aside. Okay. So consider this as an isotropic source, this particular one. Okay. Radiating in all directions. Okay. So this is an area. Let us consider an area with some distance R from the isotropic source. Okay. So this particular area, we are considering it as a meter square, which is considered as area meter square. Okay. Which is somewhat away from the isotropic source. This particular isotropic source keeps on distributing or keeps on radiating the power in several direction. Now we are considering only one area, one part of the area, which we are considering it as area meter square. Okay. And this particular iso isotropic source is at some distance, which is ra radiating some sort of power. Okay. Now the distance between this particular isotropic source. Okay. And this area is calculated by the distance RM. Okay. Which is nothing but called as 
uh, meters okay or distance are with some meters okay now the flux density of this particular area which is experiencing due to the power radiation of this isotropic source is calculated in the previous this thing okay see this one so source is called isotropic at a distance r okay uh, meters from the isotropic source flux density crossing the surface so we are using a isotropic source and which is distributing some power radiation in several directions and that in a, that particular several directions we are considering an area this area we are considering it as area meter square or am square and the distance between isotropic source as well as area meter square we are considering r with some meters as we are calculating distance with some meters okay now the whatever the flux density appears in this particular area we are calculating it as flux density f watts per meter square where flux density is given by pt by 4 pi r square watts per meter square so this is the total power okay 4 pi r square is the okay radius or the distance r okay so that is how we calculate right okay now coming to the uh, another so the power received by the real antenna with with the effective aperture area ae is given by if at all the power is received by a real antenna okay so the uh, effective aperture area ae is it is denoted by ae it can be given as pr is equal to so pr is nothing but the received power how much power is received by the real antenna this much that is nothing but pt by so pr is equal to received power pt uh, into gt into ae by 4 per 4 pi r square watts okay so pr is equal to pt gt ae by 4 pi r square with respect to watts okay and a fundamental relation in antenna theory is gain okay we all know right a fundamental relation in antenna theory mostly we consider as gain and this with respect to gain as well as area of an antenna are related by this one. Let me erase this first. So with respect to the antenna theory gain and as well as the area of antenna used it is related by power received is equal to pt gt gr by 4 pi r by lambda okay whole square with respect to watts okay now this expression the expression what we have seen till now okay power received is equal to pt gt gr by 4 pi r by lambda whole square with respect to watts where g all the g's indicates the gains okay so those gains total as well as received okay with respect to antenna theory gains here is expressed as link equation and essential in calculation of power received in any radio link okay so with respect to gain with respect to the uh, total area with respect to the uh, gain and with respect to the total area and with respect to the power transmitter or the receiver we are calculating this or we are mentioning this formula right expression right so this particular expression is considered as the link equation and is very very essential in the calculation of power received at any radio link okay and the term 4 pi r by lambda whole square is nothing but the path loss okay so it is considered as path loss so that is given as lp path loss lp now coming to the product okay so product means it is a, a pt with respect to gt okay so the product of pt and gt is called the 
effective isotropic radiated power okay so in short we can consider it as eirp okay the product of uh, pt as well as gt okay so the gain with transmitted power as well as the uh, transmitted power okay is with respect to the antenna okay is can be considered as the effective isotropic radiated power in short eirp okay in exams if at all they ask you the concept about eirp you need to mention this particular product product of pt into gt okay which is nothing but the effective isotropic radiated power okay with respect to the antenna okay it described the uh, combination of as i said it describes the combination of transmitted power as well as the antenna gain okay so in terms of equivalent isotropic uh, source with power gt and uh, pt in watts okay so with respect to decibels how we calculate means pr received power pr is equal to eirp where eirp is nothing but effective isotropic radiated power okay plus gr minus lp minus la minus lta minus lra decibels in watts okay so let me once again explain the product of pt and gt where pt is the transmitted power gt is the antenna gain which we are considering it as effective isotropic radiated power of eirp okay and the combination of this particular transmitted power as well as the antenna gain in terms of equivalent isotropic source with respect to the product of transmitted power as well as antenna gain in watts okay is given as the received power in decibels can be given as pr is equal to eirp plus where eirp is nothing but the effective isotropic radiated power okay gr is uh, gr is the okay received gain or you can also consider it as antenna gain and lp is the loss path loss lp we have already seen right okay and la is the attenuation in atmosphere okay how much power can be attenuated with respect to atmosphere that is also considered minus lta the losses associated with the transmitting antenna whenever the transmitting antenna is transmitting the signal how much loss has happened okay that is also considered lta okay and uh, with respect to lra minus of lra which is nothing but the losses associated with the receiving antenna whenever the antenna is received okay receiving that particular signal how much lo uh, loss happens while receiving the signal that is also considered with respect to decibels and the units watts okay so this is the main thing you need to remember with respect to the uh, transmitted received power with respect to transmitted power okay antenna gain and all the losses are considered with respect to db pr is equal to eirp plus gr minus lp minus la minus lta minus lra decibels with respect to watts okay uh, this is the main concept you need to remember okay this is the whole basic transmission theory of a satellite communication with respect to a satellite as well as earth station